Hello everyone, I'm Great Luke. thank you for joining me, and welcome back to episode 509 of Factorio with the C-Block mod, where we have been working on making more cover at a new outpost, and obviously this is not a lot, because we need a lot more modules, speed modules, to produce more. And well, that's not something that's going to happen any time soon, at least not a lot of them. Because our production is very slow at the moment. And right now, that is because of processing units. As it has been for a quite a while. And processing units lack titanium, which we just fixed a problem with. So now at least we should get a good load of titanium 2 processing units. Hopefully that clears this up a little bit. If we just upgrade these belts. Wouldn't that make it a little better? At least the titanium production. We won't be output limited if we ever were. At least we will be less output limited. Good. And we don't even have any trains waiting right now. That's good news. I will just go and grab the modules that we have, and then we will go to uh, processing units, I think. I am considering making a new processing unit outpost, because it should be pretty simple to do it with just robots. But then again, robots are expensive and we would need a lot of them. Three. Oh. Processing units. We are limited by titanium here. Could we just double the amount of titanium in to get another almost full build of blue circuits or half build or whatever this is? Is that possible? It looks like we're only about using two belts here and another two belts and less than two belts there. Maybe we should just do the math. If we do these, I think we're getting around 40 or something per second. All of that with plenty of productivity. I should be able to get a full build out of four builds of these. No wait, that's 40. Let's go for 60 just to... So we won't be able to get a full build exactly, because we only have 240 per second. Unless, of course, we upgrade the belts to green. Oh, 
we need more of these, but we do have twice the amount of those anyway. Mm. Everything else is probably fine. So we would get more if we just added four more belts of titanium. But it wouldn't be perfect either. And that is why it would just be easier to scale if we just did it with the robots. So should we do that? A new processing unit up here. Done with robots. Or should we try to just duplicate this and only put half of our resources in there and add another station for titanium? That's the alternative, I guess. That's the fastest way to get a little bit more, at least. So I think that's what we are going to do first. So just four more belts of titanium, I guess. If we wanted to scale this even more later, then I would have added a lot more belts, but I think this is the only thing we're going to scale here. For now. Or forever, probably. And output goes in there. We need... Titanium. There. Copy that train. There. Base train. Go. I guess we have to build this part first. And I guess we should get our train over here. Did we refill the train? Yes, good. I feel like this could be a lot smaller, but it's a lot faster to just duplicate this without doing modifications, so that's what I'm going to do.
And this is why we need the train. And we need you to go away. So this can get in. Oh, but there's no landfill here. Great. And we used it all, but we can do some of this at least. Why didn't we extend these as far as possible? I don't know. And I'm out of underground. We should probably send this train home. Maybe remove some of these. Whoops. It's so difficult to see where anything goes if we don't just start from the end, but we can't get all the things from out here because we don't have landfill. So, three tiles on the outside we don't do, then two tiles of this. And then two tiles of this right next to it. Good. 
And the same thing from up here. We... I took the wrong belt. Three undergrounds, then this. Basic electronic components. And I'm out of belt as well. I guess we do have to go home now. <laughs> Our train won't be filled with everything yet either. Wait. Do we only use load tier? Oh, for these. Okay. We can replace those at some point, I guess. Also, we have some lower tier beacons, apparently. And of course, we need speed modules for everything to run. Good. We need a bunch of inserters. We need a bunch of underground. Which we still don't have enough of, apparently. Wait, where did this go? It's stuck. Didn't I make sure that we couldn't... ...do this? Oh, apparently I missed... A signal there. Okay. But underground. And electronics assembling machines. That's probably way too many. But other than that, we should be fine. I hope. We want more belt though. Just to be sure. I forgot about landfill because I'm smart, so let's hope that the train has got some of that in yet. 
only 2.4k, that's not good enough. Dang it, why did I have to get that? I guess we'll go back again. Oh, we could have a quick look at modules. We have another 40. That won't be enough for here. Let's just finish this first and then we can go grab modules and then figure out the rest afterwards. We actually finished the previous Faster Than Light theory, that's nice. So now we're working through purple science. And this time around we don't need pink. And then we need to do yellow where we don't need purple or pink. And then we do one where we need all of them. So we do need, well we have some time to just stash some of those sciences. Maybe that's a good thing. Oh, that should be a good thing. Hopefully it helps quite a lot. I needed landfill, that's why I'm here. We'll start with that. Do we have enough purple science? I'm just curious. We have almost a hundred thousand or something. 80,000. Awesome. We need 200,000, but with productivity. How much productivity do we have? Only 24%. Okay. So we still need like 150,000 or something. This all goes almost into the middle. So this is red circuits and these are titanium. Maybe we should just start from here. Sure. Because I don't know where I can place all of my underground belts otherwise. So these are red circuits. that then this break okay so this is soda Fiberglass goes all the way on the outsides. So there and there. Uh, 
and then copper goes right next to that. On the insides, yes. <laughs> And then silver comes right on the inside of that. And then these were titanium. And this is the output. We don't really have to worry about too much stuff here. And I'm out of underground again. Dang it. But I guess we didn't have a lot available anyway. We have 110 here. I guess we will have to make do with that. Just get some titanium in here to begin with. Then we can start production, I guess. Except that titanium won't be getting in here. Yeah, that's, there can be a lot of those in there. I guess that's why we didn't want to upgrade them earlier. And using a lot of those right now would prevent us from making as many speed modules. So maybe we shouldn't be doing this. Low TS don't require product oh, processing units. Higher TS does. These still request the smaller ones. Yep. Let's keep that up. We shouldn't lack any of the resources for that anyway, I don't think.
And I guess we shouldn't waste the modules here either. Did our train get here yet? It is right there though, so you will have to move. It's the wrong way around. My bad. More production. I think that was all of the junk. Good. And we just need more modules. We need 312, so we almost have enough there. Hopefully the count in here is right this time around. I guess it should be, because we should have all that covered in logistic network. Construction network and it isn't changing, so I think it's okay. Now we're using a combination of high tier and low tier speed modules here. Is that okay? Is 
I don't get enough components down to the end anyway, so it must be fine. I've actually had enough for that. Awesome. Wait, what? All of these are high. What if... Was, did I just see a power pole in front of one of these and thought it was low T? No. Yeah, it's low T. Oh, in the middle it's not low T. At the edges it is. So this is actually a waste. We want this down here. And then we lack low tier speed modules, but then we can save the high tier speed modules for other stuff like cover. And I like that. So let's go grab some lower tier speed modules. I guess we could also just grab a lot of those to actually get cover up and running faster and whatever else we want to run faster. And then upgrade them later. It would help quite a lot. Currently, at least. So I think I will at least bring a bunch of low tier speed modules with me. No high tiers. Lots of those, sure. Good, and then we have enough height here for cover over here. But then we have other problems, like too little titanium again. And they are both waiting for more titanium plate. And something is wrong there again. I don't like that. Let's actually leave some electronics assembling machines here. In case well, we shouldn't ever want to upgrade or scale here. Are these too expensive to leave? Or is it okay? Processing units? Nope. Not gonna leave those right now. So what is up? We had a problem with these at some point, and apparently we still have that problem. Are we not limiting production here? We are. I guess we have just got more bottles available than we ever knew how to or what to do with. If that's even the problem. It isn't. What is the problem? Do we just not have any chlorine here? Nope, we don't. Chlorine really isn't the most difficult thing to make ever. Shouldn't we just make some locally? Think we should? I 
and for this to work we need to add purified water and saline water. Whoops. Can we? No, we can't mirror. I want the chlorine as close to where it needs to go as possible. So we will just turn it this way around. Saline water in here. Purified water in there. We need a hundred purified water per second. No, saline water per second. And 25 purified water. Except that they had different craft crafting speeds, but whatever. If we use this... This gives us a lot less saline water, so we would want one of these as well, I guess. This goes in there. But that's difficult with this anyway, so maybe we should just have it go this way around. Give it some water. should top up this because otherwise we could end up not producing purified water we need to burn the hydrogen Can't reach. Okay. So now we can add beacons if we want it faster. Which I guess we do. But we still don't have any chlorine here. At least I didn't think we did. Well, we must have used it or something. The train was just coming down here a short while ago. that needs to be sped up, right? Or maybe not. No? This one?
I'd just add another one of those. Rather than spend more speed beacons here. I think that should give us more than enough chlorine, at least I hope so. Oh, we need better burning. Guess that wasn't sped up a lot, so that makes sense. But one should still be able to do this amount, right? With all of these beacons here. Yes. If nothing else, this will help a bit. And then whenever the train does come in, we will be doing a lot better. This is already working well just for this little amount of production, so... Well, should we do more then? have a bag of this anywhere? Or are they all just entirely empty? Seems like they're all empty. So we're not really getting better. Stadium. Thank you. 
This looks a lot better. And now I think we will be st starting to store some stuff in these requester chests. Hopefully. Not sure why I'm not just building another setup. To be sure. But. No speed for that, but it should still help a little bit. And now we see that we have some bottles available in there. None in here though. None in there. But we are pretty much full on these, so I think it's working as it should. We're still good on robots. Still haven't gotten a train in with more chlorine. So this is by our own work that we are producing all this. Still low though. Some places are some of the machines. Just use the low tier modules that I've been talking about using. Why are we not just doing that? That's a lot less expensive. I know this top setup will now be producing this because of the bird. Then we can do other stuff with those modules instead. Hopefully that's enough titanium for processing units. Of course, it's still only 8 belts out here, which is what we require in just for processing units. So when we have other things consuming it, consuming it as well, then it won't really be enough. But hey, what can you do? Of course we could duplicate the full titanium setup, but that's a lot of machines and that will cut our UPS even more. We'll also try just getting more belts out of this, because we do seem to have enough restables. But that, well, they have been banging up for quite a while, so that's not necessarily true. I think this is good enough for now, but unfortunately that's all we have time for in this episode, so thank you all for joining me, and I'll see you next time. Bye.